Hi, my name is Sky, and I have a message for the creators of Robin Hood on BBC8. Uh, great show, love it. Uh, well, you know, really digging all the characters and uh, a lot of the episodes. I mean, there, there's a couple which are just a little, huh? And, and then a couple scenarios, situations. Um, and right now, oh God, so the one that really just stood out in my mind is uh, uh, Robin Up in the Tree. Great idea of having that scenario play out and then have uh, Marion get involved. But the, just how that whole action sequence just like unfolded. I don't know, I, I think that could have been done better. But in particular, what I wanted to uh, express was uh, I think uh, the writers did a disservice by killing off uh, Marion's father, uh, Lord Rockwood, uh, Lord Rockwood, uh, I'm forgetting, but, uh, and because I, I was thinking that a good, a good smart way to ha go about it was, yes, have the father escape, go live, uh, at the, uh, the bandits' camp, uh, but then also have Marion there as well. The result is that Robin and Marion kind of want to, um, get, be more personal and close with each other, but the father's in the way. And then on top of that, you can have the dynamic of the father has all of these user experience, Robin has his own experience, and so you can have a mentor, uh, relationship between Robin and, uh, Marion's father, and, and you know that can also start out and develop with uh, the you know, father just being really upset with Robin or not, not just comprehending how Robin's going to you know do things, uh, and, and then you can throw in things like uh, uh, you know oh well he you know the father happens to know of a secret way to get into the castle, <laughs> and uh, uh, God what else. Uh, and then, like, every once in a while, like, they need an extra man, and so the father can be employed. So, I, you know, to me, it's you, uh, you know, the writers, the creators of, of Robin Hood, just, I, I think they over, you know, they did the wrong thing in uh, having, uh, that, you know, that character killed off. Because uh, there's a lot of possibilities and a lot of things that could have been added and explored. It, it's kind of like, uh, you know, look at... Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or even uh, Angel, uh, created by Josh Whedon. Uh, what did he do with uh, almost any any and every character that was created? Created an out, created an option to bring that character back. Why? Because uh, you can always, you, you can have a guy like Spike, who, uh, you know, is supposed to be this big, mean, bad vampire, and um, they're you know, as time goes on, more and more backstory develops about the guy, uh, and he's, he's just a neat character, you know, James Marsters does an amazing job with that, uh, concept, and, uh, have him change sides, have him change, uh, behaviors, and how he behaves, and, or, like, what sort of things he's involved in, uh, and so you really see a, a, a real big dynamic, uh, in terms of what was done with that character and then all the interactions with every other character uh, and, you know, bring, uh, at different times of uh, the lifespan of the whole TV series. And that was just, you know, to me a great way to uh, take it. It, it. It gets a little ridiculous because like, oh great, so uh, when are they going to bring this guy back or, oh, look who's back. But, uh, like I said, all the characters were just so interesting and had such interesting backgrounds and stories, so it, it worked out. Um, you know, the whole comic book, you know, way of, of things work out. But, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame, uh, that, uh, you know, they had to kill that guy off. Um, you can always do the dream sequence. <laughs> and it's like, hey, what do you know? You know, the father's alive. But, uh, well, keep up the good work, guys, and I'm looking forward to the more scenes, more episodes.